So, good afternoon, second time. This is the live, oh shit, I mistake me in my name. Let's go at a name. <laughs> oh, it's the right name now. Um, I didn't receive any questions until now. So I made a little uh, preparation and and it's it's like uh it's it's a combination of everything i normally say to everybody and to myself and that's everything's perfect the universe all universes are perfectly orchestrated so whatever happens in your life in your hologram and your experience on this planet everything is perfectly orchestrated and everything is abundant uh, there's there's no lack there's only experiences sometimes it's hard to understand that but that's the whole situation on this planet is that we are um this, this planet is is, 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 a, is a huge place to learn how to go back inside every time again and again and everything that happens in your experience is telling you do you want to get distracted or seducted or do you realize that you can go inside and that everything neutralizes again so it's the planet of duality it's a planet where some uh, opposite items can be and the, o the only thing if, if something is irritating making you or taking your energy away is to bring it back to the middle it neutralizes bring it back to the middle in your heart that neutralizes so many many ways are there to understand to realize that it's always perfect and this is just an experience Corey hello and um, Carrie and um, so it's all about the inner world so one of the easiest thing to do to get to your inner world is your hands in Spain they say mano Mano izquierda, mano derecha, but you can put them on your heart. One of them is enough. Do that as much as possible. And um, Patricia is teasing me already with a, with a good question. How about physical pain? Um, for me, physical pain is, is um, a program of distraction, which is taking a long, longer way. So to neutralize it, it takes a little bit more effort. But in the end, it works. And there are many, many ways to do it, but first start realizing that the pain is a distraction and that you can disconnect from it. And by disconnecting from that pain, you can uh, move it into the neutralized zone. So the hand on the heart is the basis of everything. I often say that I'm a good duct tape seller you duct tape your hand on your heart and then everything will be much smoother and much easier. That's for, for, for starters. And next to that, of course, a good friend of us, Lex, told us that uh, at certain moments it's impossible to use your hand uh, on the heart because you're doing things with both hands or it's impossible in whatever situation. I'm just hoping that you do it as much as possible and especially at night helps you to really, really calm down during your uh, busy dreams. Well, Ron is also here. Uh, say hello to uh, Carrie, to Nico, Patricia, uh, Rhonda. Welcome all. And um, so, just to that, that's one of the things. So, the hand on the heart. And the second thing, Patricia and I, I'm doing uh, quite often now at the, for two months or something like that. It's clearing a pineal gland. The pineal gland is, is a much uh, written about and spoken about uh, part in the brain. And it's the connector between the universe, your higher self, the source and yourself. And of course, there are many things you can do to keep it fit. So no fluorides and, and, and a lot of things you, you shouldn't do uh, because it will uh, not help you in that connection. But if the connection will always be there because everything is perfect. And with your hand on your heart and connecting to your pineal gland, you can clean it, clear it, and take out old emotions or un uh, what's the word? Un unsolved emotions. Uh, you can clear it. And then the next thing is to ground, to be grounded. 
grounded with your feet on the, on the ground. And it helps to be with bare foot. So I've taken off my shoes, even the floor is cold here, um, to ground as much as possible. And you can, every time, one of the things, so if you are distracted or seducted, you realize this is a program which is taking me away from my inner world. Go back by putting your hand on the, on the heart, if you didn't have it already, and realize that this is, this is something which is distracting you, it's taking you out of your center. The hand is the center, so it's taking you out. So the only thing you have to do is turn, turn it over to the, to the other side, to the, almost often the positive side, and then you got that, you, it, it, it neutralizes it and gets back in the center. Next to that, clear your programs in your pineal gland, pineal gland, which are connected to that, and ground, and you're clear to go on your way. So what I want to do, and I will first check if there's any questions before that, but if, if, if not, I will want to set some codes, source codes on that, to help this little list of things to do whenever you're distracted or seducted, uh, to make it a more standard thing in your way of receiving information around from everywhere. And, and again, this is a planet where there's a lot of information which is just made to distract you, to take you out of your inner world. Everything around you is just, uh, in, in pure Spanish, it's bullshit. It's uh, caca de toro or something like that, but it's, 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 it's nonsense. It's just helping you to get out of your inner world. And the only thing we, we, do, we need to do is to get into the moon and into your own world, your inner world, because there is everything. So, let me start off, and my friends here are helping, and I'm sure that today they're a little bit in the wind, because I, I, I put it down myself, and it was not stable as, as not enough, but it's it's good, because they're leaning, I'm leaning into them, so we're, we're connected already. So what I'm going to do is make a little um, list of codes, and with these codes, I only want I'm asking you to, as, as normally, put your hand on your heart, close your eyes. Take a deep breath, just a, a normal breath, and just get into your inner world. And when you get into your inner world and you keep your closed, eyes closed, you can peek if you want to, but it's helping you to get into your inner world, to connect with your hand on your heart. One is enough, but two is, is also beautiful. It doesn't matter if it's left or right. And what I'm going to do is to help you in all time, space, dimensions, and affinities to get easier connected with your inner world. And that's taking away all these distractions and seductions programs which are already placed in your field. So let's clear that field, those fields and see how things are going better than So clear these fields of all programming not needed anymore for distraction and seduction. And make a new program for realization that everything you're mind is attached to something you can go inside again inner world is all that's needed and now you're getting connected to make you realize in your physical body that you are connected to your inner world so we Put some glue to the hands and and connect them to the heart. So this is already helping, and then we're gonna clear your pineal glands. That's something you can work with. There's some meditation Patricia is giving that in English and in Dutch. You can connect with her. There's a, there's a nice meditation. It takes only half an hour, and you can do it whenever you want. We do it in the morning. And it's clearing your pineal gland. I do it with source codes, and source codes for helping you to clear and to make your pineal gland less sticky. In all time, space, inventions, infinity. So, Mm, taking all programs away which are making sticky, 
stickiness in your bino gland. Give it some moist so that it can open up again. And remember, whenever you see this, it's always these codes are always connected and working. But and then I talked about the grounding. Okay, feel your feet on the ground, feel your hands on your heart. Still in the inner world, you're going to ground you. And to help you understand that all is perfect, that this how I started. You take a program of pure light, golden light of the source. It's like a 360 bubble shower around you. Do it the ash. So that's, an, I think, a nice start for any beginning or ending of the day. It gives me a feeling I'm really, really, really back into my space. Um, I'm interested in how you are reacting on these codes. Uh, maybe there are some reactions in which you can say uh, if, if, if it's digestible, should it be more subtle? Is it strong enough? I think so. Just be open and pure in this and as in the meantime i can see that lex is in the house love you lex and patty hi there patty and jill all the time um, and sophie hi sophie so and nico is telling me that it's realigning the group and beautiful and, and remember and maybe, maybe i said it before and you heard it but every time we come together in, in a life like this or in sessions, it's bringing the collective a lot of energy. So it was, um, this is always working for the collective as well. And Jill is telling us that uh, it was a, a very nice shower. And uh, yes, thank you for that. Oh, you're, just, you're just in time to get, to get the shower. <laughs> you can see it later on. And Jill, nice that you've been here. Um, so these are the things I think you can start your day with, or as soon as you, uh, um, <laughs> as, as soon as you feel the distractions, feel that something is taking you out of your own energy, your balance, your zero point of energy, this will help. And of course, there are many, many other ways because what I'm telling you is not the only thing. There's so there, I don't know. There are numbers of ways. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's only if, if it resonates, this will help you. And I, I think it's powerful enough that it can resonate for you. But the baseline, again, is everything is perfect. So, um, hi, Lawrence. Um, if you're new to this, I will repeat it. I just had a little uh, information uh, shared that I think the basis is that we are distracted on this planet. Uh, everything is not really interesting. The only thing which is interesting is your inner world. So you can connect with your hand, one hand or two hands on your heart as much as possible, if, if, if possible, if the rest of your life, every minute. But sometimes you have to use your hands so it's not possible. And then realize if something is taking you out of your energy and it's taking you out, you just put the opposite against it. And then it will be neutralized in a zero point. And so if, if something is negative, irritating you or taking you out of your energy, you just put the positive in the opposite direction of it, think on the positive, and then it will neutralize. And again, also, it's helping to clear your pineal gland. And many, many of us uh, got stuck emotions in our pineal gland. So if we clear the pineal gland, uh, and it's very easy if you want to reach it yourself, where is your pineal gland? You can close your eyes and you cross eye inside. So then your eyes will find the pineal gland. It's really a nice trick 
not my man invented by me, but I just uh, happily copied that. It's a trick which helps you to feel where your pineal gland is. And if you focus as much as possible on your pineal gland, it will empty itself. It will help the body and the, and the heart to, to clear your pineal gland. A clear pineal, pineal gland is a very strong antenna for your higher self, the source, the central sun, the universes. It helps you. But this, my frequencies are source based. They're laser guided and um, so mm, they will come wherever it's needed. Sometimes you don't realize it at that, at that specific moment, but later on they, they will enter, they will come there where it's needed. Um, Patricia is asking, Michelle, mm, sure. uh, I like ask for codes for everyone for focusing on the positive energetic feelings. Okay, yeah, that, that's the whole trick of this uh, of this live session. So you can ask questions, and Patricia has put one for all of us here. So again, close your eyes, go into your inner world, put your have your hand on your heart, put your hand on your heart. And I will make some codes which are in all time, space, dimensions, in infinity. So there's every timeline and every dimension. We place these codes and that's helping people focusing on the positive and energetic feelings. Rich, oh, oh, ah, And that has something to do in your space vehicles. It looks like there is some adjusting in the, the yeah, I, I call it the wood planners in our, in our space vehicles. So on the positive and on the energetic feelings, be open. So for, for the people who don't know it, Patricia VDF Taylor is my partner and she's helping me on the side uh, of the comments. So how is everybody feeling? And just be aware. This is your moment. You can do a lot in the in this, in this hour I reserve for this. Um, and for me, it's it's if it's if it's too personal, you can always connect with me for for a private session. But this is a session which is working as good as any any sessions. And Mariette has also been able again to be here. Beautiful. And um, so if the, is, if there's any, uh, we'll just, yeah. <laughs> and so is, if, if you've got anything which you feel there is a need for, and remember every, everything you feel, others will feel as well. And maybe they're not in our group yet, but they can listen to it later. So and it will work for them as well. And the energy we put in is always for the collective. So it's beautiful that, um, Mariette is here, that people from Holland, from Spain, from Canada, everybody's from different places. So we, we create a new grid of these beautiful energies and it's working. So, um, so be open, dare to question, uh, put your question in so that we can uh, work on that. And let me see. Can you specify the now moment a bit better so that everybody understands what we're doing? Because some people can say there is only the now moment. There is no past, there's no future, there's only now. It's all, it's different timelines. So what we try to say, if, if, if it's a now moment, if I am, uh, 
if I translate it for myself, is that um, that you don't carry all these energies from other now moments with you. It's this is it. Um, let me see. Now moment and let go of the balance of the business of the week and give space in our head. Okay, like I, I can give space in heads. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so for everybody again, hand on the heart. If you, I think it's best to keep it there. But if you just had to do something with your hands, that's handy to put it again. Put it there, close your eyes, not too much. You can see me because you can see the, uh, the repetition and just just start in your inner world. And we are, I'm clearing the whole space around you now. In all time, space, dimension, and infinities. To so this, this energy field around you is cleared of all programs. Clearing of all, um, how you say it, all ballast, everything that's not needed anymore. And then we go into your inner world and clear everything which is programmed that you are get get when, uh, stuck get stuck into your thoughts. Get only get this connection to the heart is necessary. This is our ish oof oof. And we put light in there, pure light of the source. Central sun, your higher self light in your spouse. And we put light in the connection to the heart. The entrance in your neck. And we put light in the awareness. This will give you space, clarity, and light in your mind, in your head. This will help you to stabilize in the now moment. Remember, everything is perfect. There is only a now moment. The rest is all created to distract you, to seduct you. Always go back into the heart and Clear your own time of them and ground. Beautiful. So I see that Nico is asking for healing for the world realignment of all. Uh, let's let's do something small. Let's heal the world. Um, we will heal the world, and we, it's all starting with our network here and other networks alike. And everybody who's starting to center in its own inner world is healing the world. So I can give goats. For people to understand more and more and more that the healing of the world starts with them in, in their in, in, in their inner world. It starts in with you inside. But I can give codes for that and realignment together with it, of course. Yes, uh, it's a beautiful uh, question. So close your eyes again. In all time, space, dimensions, infinities. You could bring in light, clarity, in the awareness, so that everybody starts understanding that inner world is healing. Any program which is in your area and your field will take it away to stop what is stopping it. Aish. Open up to all the beings around you. If it's the planetary, the plants or the, uh, or the creatures of the woods or beings like behind me, all beings are helping us. 
Ich kann auch da. Open up. Let the light in. And again, let everything be incorporated in your system and anchor it. So I'm very happy that people are putting their questions in. Because remember again, every question we have in our in our energy field is a question which is living in somebody else's energy field possibly as well. So Mariette is asking for tranquility in, in everybody. And tranquility, I translate it like, um, um, it's more like being in your center. Because when you are understanding that everything is perfect and that everything, is, if you get out of your center, you're distracted. So you just get back. So be aligned in your in your inner world, together with your inner world, aligned with your heart, with your pineal gland, anchored. And that realization. So I will bring that together and that will uh, equate uh, into tranquility. So close your eyes. Put your hands on your heart. This is an all time space dimension infinity. This is or A beautiful question of Am. Um, and of course, it's easy to say fear is, is not a good guidance. Um, so, but often that fear is a program. So, what I'm going to do is to take away programs of fear. And uh, um, and the weight of a new relation, because the weight of a new relation is often creating some tension. So just it's like every relation is a new relation, and every and every relation, every contact can, is a possibility of a new relation. So be really open and open your heart. That sort of things I'm thinking of. So let's let's see how this will work out. So close your eyes. Put your hand on your heart. First round, everybody again. I take away all programs of fear and all time space dimensions and infinities. Push Come back to your center, feel the power you have. You are a multidimensional being, so you are in limitless power. Open your throat chakra, so you can speak out whatever you feel. Be authentic. Be as pure as you can be. And open your heart to any new contacts. 
So at the moment, I'm normally on Friday, I was always doing a healing session and a little group of people, um, some change, but it was a little steady group of people coming every Friday. And now it's uh, changed into this life. And I still feel that some of the people would like to have some uh, little group work, uh, but the Maybe it will come back, but it will change at least that it won't be broadcasted. So that's private. And this is, uh, this is of course, live, so it's not private, and everybody's welcome. And it's a love donation base, so if you really like it, you can give a donation. If you don't, it doesn't matter. And we're going to set up some sessions, some group sessions, some topic-related sessions. Uh, retreats. We have a retreat in June in, uh, in the Netherlands because we're living in Spain. I'm setting up a center here, but we're going to set it up uh, to have a retreat in, in the Netherlands. We also do healings in the Netherlands. Uh, and whatever you feel like, uh, can, you can contact me and Patricia, of course, uh, for that. And uh, so we we're changing the, 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 the setting of how we work. And that's because uh, there's yeah there's a need for for of course that's the universe was slowing down in the frequencies uh re reaching people and it's getting more and more into the uh yeah, more people needed to need to be re reached so um you can if you don't donate and which is perfectly okay you can help by spreading the links and spreading your experience and helping other people uh pointing them that this is one of the possibilities to help them getting into their awakening is a big word, but into their uh, better in, in their energies. Um, so there are many ways. And if you have other ideas, you can tell me, of course, um, what your ideas are. And that can be also in, in via messenger or email, whatever. So don't, don't hesitate to contact in this. Are there any more questions, or did I maybe miss one? Let me see. This is quite a powerful session. Oh, nice. In your, I don't see everybody. Uh, I just see a, 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 just a little list of people. So maybe if I didn't say hello to you, I'm sorry, because I don't see it. But I understand that Inger is also there. So hi, Inger. And, um, and of course, Anne, uh, I was glad to do it. Uh, so, so if nobody has any questions at this moment, um, I would just put some codes for you in what I feel, and that's um, okay. Let me write. Okay, yeah, yep, I see that. I'll tell about how your codes work. Okay, um, it's easy. <laughs> um, if my codes are a bit different than most people's light language, I haven't met or heard about others doing the same, but there must be people doing the same. Um, my codes work uh, uh, as people receive them as laser guided codes. So if I get a information, uh, an intention, or a question, I can create directly source codes in my energy system. And I can tap on any field in any universe to get the right codes, and then direct it towards the people who need it. And uh, sometimes it's one-on-one, -on -one, or sometimes it's always for the collective. There's always a, some of the part, parts of the codes are going into the universes. And um, somehow I'm a, I'm a key holder, key creator, key maker. 
uh, and basically source codes, holy codes, and uh, there was one other word, but they're, they're the, power, the powerful ones, I think. Um, and, it's, and it works like uh, magic, it's, it's always working. The only thing I need is that the receiver is open for what is coming. And sometimes that's difficult because if you've got a, a, a nasty issue and you're really stuck into that issue, then you often block your mind and your mind blocks your heart and you and then the way to enter to, to receive the codes codes are not uh, are not there so it's it's, it's like it's always a, a, a receiver and sending information needs to be in an open line but if the if people are neutral it always works so yeah that's how codes work This is an interesting one. The pain you want out of them. Or because I can do that, but I don't think it's the, <laughs> it's the way uh, what you want. Can you be, can you be specific, the pain? Uh, what your question is, because um, autism, autism in my belief system is, is, a, is a program, a big one, a nasty one, because it's um, it's been um, supported by many, many different program lines and uh, lines from different uh, areas. So maybe you can, and maybe it's a bit, a little bit big one, but if you can specific, specify, specify, it's a beautiful one, uh, a, little, a little bit better, then I will have a look at it. Uh, otherwise, I will do my best for you. And. Allowance, I felt amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. And if there's anything else you want or to look at, just give a shout. Uh, okay, I'm going to work on this one. Um, Pepin, the question back to you is to be a, bit, a little bit more specific, and then I will have a look at it. And Lex, um, how to break a repetitive thought pattern. Okay, this is also a very, very core one. So um, let's work on that. In my belief system, uh, a thought system is almost often always a program. So, and then it's anchored uh, in, in such a way that you think that it's, it's a, like a belief system or even uh, like a it's triggered on many, many ways. So let's work on that. And um, okay, close your eyes. I will work on this uh, question of flex. Close your eyes, put your hand on your heart. Breathe in, out. First anchor everybody again. <laughs> Mm, blah, 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 blah. And then we got this area in all time, space, dimension, infinities around the heart, which are little like mouse traps of belief systems. Take them away. And there's a lot of um, free will involved here, so you have to be sure that you are changing this pattern. It's almost like the addiction program. So maybe we take the addiction program first. Oh, stuck also in the in the solar plexus. So so let go. Start believing in your own truth, your own dimensionality. Take away all these other programming. To put the eyes, she, she, she. Remember, everything is frequency. 
Just let it get into your at your own time into your system. Remember, nothing will be there which is not for you. It's always coming back. To, it's it's always coming there where you need where it's needed. So if your higher self think frequencies or codes from me are not for you, you won't receive them. If they, your higher self thinks it's okay, it's, it's okay, you just open to it. Question of um, I see Patricia is already reacting to it. Yes, we are going to do it. We haven't planned it yet, but we because we have to buy the house first with the place to do it. Um, but yeah, yeah, and uh, stay in contact and and uh, and, and um, keep con connected with Patricia uh, as soon as we are. Uh, I think it will be in the uh, the second half of this year that we know if it's possible already to do it in Spain. But in, in June, we are in Holland. Uh, maybe that's an, 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 a match. I see that Pepin has reacted. So very, thank you very much, Pepin. Uh, fear of ch change. And uh, what's this? OK, yeah, it's, it, it's in, in, in your question, it's, it's both. And I, but I don't see that question of the autism. And autism is like, OK, for me, autism is like a program in which some of the human aspects are um, put out of uh, in a different organization and um, let's com combine it with fear um, so if if you are in a situation that your physical system is differently programmed um, it's not it's, it's, it's in such a way that it's, it's, that's the normal programming. Uh, so we don't take away the autism directly, but take away the influencers which create the autism or keep, it, keep the fire burning of the autism. So, and this fear of, for change will is a good entrance. So thank you very much. I will look, look, uh, work on that directly now. So close your eyes and everybody do it together with us. Hold your hands on your heart. And uh, no time, space to mention hidden affinities. We're going to first clear everything around the photon of the source in the heart. Connect the photon of the source with your pineal gland. And take away all programs, implants of fear in any way. I'm putting up a new light into the outer authenticity part of everybody. Being authentic helps you to be fearless. Being pure, connected to the heart, being authentic, speak whatever you feel without offending anybody, but be Fearless in speaking. So we open for change with just because change is bringing you into new fields. Open up. 
Old change is bringing new things, taking you out of the old ways, bringing you into the new, new abilities, new possibilities. This is, uh, it's true, uh, Maria. And uh, the answer is yes. If you are barefoot, you are better connected with uh, the planet. And even a, a, a very thin layer of your, of the sole of your shoe can help. Uh, wearing natural uh, shoes helps. But of course, we are you know, in, a, in a time that you have rubber soles in your shoes and that's, that's that's okay but by being aware of it it helps you to also wear uh, walk barefoot but you can also sit in in in, in, a, in a in a safe space because there are many uh distals and stones and things we our, our feet are not used to anymore so create some space where you are comfortable in and then uh and then it definitely helps and if you can feel it now it's it's helping as well so yeah so maybe a nice trigger for you to do that and if, yeah um when i was doing the fridays with nicola we call it socks off and uh, we took our socks off of course barefoot it was better because the energy is better floating through the system so yeah Um, out of source protection of being high sensitive or being sensitive mm, possible in my belief system um, I think that um, our, we are under attack our, our, our human body is under attack in many many ways there's uh, pollution there's oh, many things more things than I want to talk about now but there, there's, there's numerous and all these things have an influence on our system. So it's, uh, I think we are all high sensitive. Some are more sens higher sensitive than others. So everybody's sensitive, uh, especially I can tell it because I was my mantra for many, many years that I don't feel anything. And that was my mantra. I believe it. And every time I was saying, no, I don't feel anything. I, I can't feel it. No, I'm not. So when I put that mantra to the positive, so yeah, maybe I'm not sure I felt something, but it probably was there. So I was changing it slightly, 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 and then it changed completely. And then, so sensitivity is in everybody. Multidimensionality is in everybody. So yes, and if you're done, uh, it, it's a protection. Um, maybe the protection is not the right word. It's more like there's a change in the in the buildup of the systems in your in your human body that have the effect of being out of out, uh, out, artistic that's the word um and i think that everybody has a little bit of autism in himself i got and uh, so it's not a, a bad thing but as, when it's starting to be annoying for you or hindering you then it's uh, getting a problem. So then, then you have to look in what are the influences of the autism, uh, and then there there are, are solutions. Codes are always a solution, but you have to be open for them. I hope that helped a little bit. Um, hey, Koen is also in the house. Cool. Uh, yeah, Pepijn, um, if you want more on, on, on this topic, uh, maybe do a, a little private uh, investigation on that um so that you that we can that i can really focus on what you are uh, specifically asking um yeah uh and patricia is telling don't follow fear and that's i think that's where that, that's the best advice we can ever get uh, fear is such a a, a non 
multidimensional human aspect. It's it's not us. We don't know fear. It's a program. It's, it's something which is learned to be in our system. But just getting it out and realizing that it's fear is really beautiful already. It's, it's then you can put your, shine your light on it. Shine light on fear and fear goes like snow for the sun. Um, this is also beautiful. Um, and this is what I really uh, am happy about. Uh, the interconnection between each other uh, is really important. We are all beautiful beings, all trying to get to the next phase, uh, all um, working our way around in, in this beautiful planet. And yeah, we're doing it all together. So you're never alone. You can always contact everybody uh, and see what's the best help for you. Your higher self will always guide you. Trust on that. I started with, uh, that's, a, that's a nice circle around. I started with all is perfect. And, and your higher self is, is, the, is, the, is the, the, your guidance in this. And, uh, and, and everything is perfect. So you're never alone. You can always connect others. It's also mostly a program that you are thinking. Thinking is something you shouldn't do because then you don't have your hand on the heart. It's thinking that uh, you're not worth it or people don't are, uh, want to hear your uh, things. Of course, if you start with one thing and you never change it and always tell the same thing, maybe people get bored. But mostly people listen to it because they learn from you as well. So, yeah. Good to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's saying hello to each other. Beautiful. And I'm specifically saying hello to Kun. I hope you are doing really well. Uh, I haven't seen you for a long time. Um, per personally. Um, Lex it went very deep. Uh, so I'm really hoping it helped you uh, exactly where you want it. Um, yeah, so I don't see any more questions, and that's okay because of the, we have uh, tipped a lot of uh, items. I think it's for me it's it's okay that it's for today it's enough in, in quotes. Um, we got um, a, a, a Facebook page. It's called Inner Source Center Calicia. Uh, there is on getting we, get, we have more information there week on a weekly basis what the center is doing. Uh, Patricia and I am working every day by experience on our uh, on the way we are going to fill in the retreats. We have uh, beautiful music uh, for the trans dance which will be in the retreat. We are experiencing every day new uh, new things. So please connect with us and. Um, see what's happening there. You can ask me questions on uh, Facebook. This one is still not on uh, YouTube because I was uh, preparing it and then YouTube said it takes 24 hours to do to be ready. Okay, too late. <laughs> so next time it will be also in, uh, on, on YouTube. Um, it will be on our pages. If you uh, support us, please share this. Share, share out your experience if you liked it. Also, if you didn't like it, because be honest. Be pure. Um, if anybody's, um, if I missed everybody, anybody in the questions, please you can always ask them later on. And I hope I hope it relates to you. I hope the energy is working for you in the, in the benefit. And um, I will be here next Friday again. And uh, love to see you. I love have loved to see all of you. I love you all. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you very much.